I just got some groceries and I ordered from a company called We. So it's basically like an Asian grocer. Something that's a small detail but is still very much necessary is the drawer that I organized because I just got Asian chopsticks and spoons. I have been living a year without these utensils. I'm a little bit OCD so everything is the same size. I even have bigger forks and spoons but I think this is enough considering I'm not going to host too many people here. But these spoons are so nice. Necessary. If you don't have these, they're definitely a game changer. I'm getting some more pots and pans in. I ordered some from Amazon. I actually sent a couple of pots over. I love this big pot for making soup. My mom taught me how to make rotisserie chicken pho, so I'll be making that. I want to make like fried tonkatsu and I can just fry some eggs on here. I love mini pots and I just have a bunch of other products. I'm excited to try. These olive oils are pretty good. I also got this scent a while ago, but I've been saving it for my own space. And that I'm organizing like an Italian seasoning section and of course an Asian seasoning section. These are a bunch of the seasonings I got and I'm really excited to be cooking more. I'm obsessed with this product right now. I've been saving a lot of skincare now that I'm actually stationed in New York and not traveling. This hand serum is so good and I've been using it after doing the dishes because it makes my hands really soft. This toaster is also amazing. You can choose what function you want to do and then the level of toastiness. I just love Japanese products. Also, you can put water water in it so that the bread, muffins, pizza that you are in the oven are also steaming it and not just like frying it to crisps. Allison's here. This is my wardrobe progress. I have all of my shoes just for when I go out to like little events or whatnot and just when I film like little OOTD videos which you guys will be seeing a lot more of. I'm obsessed with it. And then I have this little closet here and this little plaque which I'm super happy about. Before I move on, I wanted to thank Bright Southern for sponsoring this video. I'm super excited about my new wine shelf and it adds such an important aspect into my new living room. This apartment could not have come together more perfectly without them and I wanted to put you guys on too. So basically you can pick your own personalized wines by taking a seven question quiz and then they match you with wines from all over the world with over a hundred wines to choose from and from over 80 wine regions where they get delivered right to your doorstep. Each box comes with education cards for the bottle with tasting notes, pairings, best serving temperatures, and where the wines come from. And if you don't like a bottle, they'll replace it just for you so you can maximize trying new wines in the comfort of your own home. Whether you have friends over or you're just tasting it for fun on a night to relax and chill out, you can personalize your box just the way you like it. Thank you so much to Bright Sellers for giving my followers their first six bottle subscription box, usually over $150 for just 55. Click the link in the description to take the quiz and you can get started today. This is a grocery haul. So first I got just some beef because I want to make gyudon and I also want to just use this for repurposed broths, sukiyaki, anything. Hot pot. I'm having hot pot night soon. And then I got an apple cabbage and you can't get this from Whole Foods. The size and with the dirt in it too. That's when you know it's good. Some scallions. Honestly, I was going to have my hot pot night next week so I don't know why I got all these veggies. It's because I wanted to have a trial first to make sure I know how to eat it. I mean, sorry, make it. You know how to eat it. So Alice will be back and I just got <laughs> more vegetables. Peach taste test. Yes. This is literally my first time living alone in my life. I thought I was going to get lonely, but first of all, all my best friends live in this neighborhood. Alice is also moving here. Second of all, I really like my alone time. I've realized I leave it a f***ing mess. I come back to a f***ing mess and dread the f***ing mess and clean the f***ing mess. She does. She um, spends like two hours cleaning. It's quite impressive. I spend a lot of time cleaning. I already know it's going to taste good. Just by the way it feels. Pervert. I can't wait to show you guys my apartment tour once it's ready, but we're still cleaning things so you guys don't get a full reveal yet. It's just like cluttered because I'm still sorting things. I'm doing giveaway. You guys can enter through the Google form in my bio. Open to international winners as well because I used to live in Taiwan, so I know what it felt like when giveaways were only open to people in the US. I'm also gonna apply. <laughs> it's not rigged, guys. This one's too soft. Mine is good. Yeah. God damn it. The hard one is good. Why are they all soft though? I told you the hard ones are good. These are from the Union Square Farmer's Market. I don't love Union Square. Kind of scares me, but they have good farmer's markets. Oh, okay. 
Mmm. I have to tell you guys, what they don't tell you when you're living alone is all the shit that piles up because you think that you're all set once you get here. Then you have utilities, then you have electricity, then you have to make sure that you have the address for your check when you're paying your rent. And then you have to make sure that you have your bed frame bill, you have your furniture, you need someone to put up your picture frames and I ain't gonna build that as a man's job. That's true. I guess it's a little bit different because I'm always like out and about and doing things in the city that are related to work. Most YouTubers that you watch are doing YouTube for a living. I'm doing YouTube for fun. But my living is how much I love to sell outfits of like my passion for fashion. See you guys in a bit when I make dinner. We're best friends from high school. Also, all our friends live in California, so we're in New York together. She will be filming dinner. Beef with soy sauce, mirin, sugar, salt, pepper, garlic, onions, and then there's dashi, soy sauce, and the spinach. And then this is just like a soft boiled egg. Ooh, the egg looks kind of perfect. Yum. Mmm. Very homey. Mm. It tastes like healthy, you know? Mm -hmm. There's no oil. Only like a little bit of butter in the beginning with the onions. It's really good. Thank you, Isabel. Do you like it? Yeah. I love that, bro. So I just got home from my workout and I am going to spend the day cleaning my apartment. Now I can spend my time organizing PR and my clothes. I have an All Saints dinner tomorrow. So I just got a really cutie package in. I picked these earrings and also this bag. My little outfit is from Set Active and my scrunchie is also Set Active. Usually I'll go to yoga and the night before if my hair is like second day hair, I'll keep it up because I don't like it getting into crevices of my pillowcase. I also just got a matcha latte. I'm trying to get a routine right now going and this is kind of setting the mood. It's still only Tuesday and Selena and I basically spent like 30 minutes last night. She was so helpful. She helped me like just organize my socks. Oh, I wanted to show you this. When I was in Korea, one of my friends put me onto a candle warmer lamp. I'll link it in my bio because I like this one because it matches my silver lamp. So there's a theme going on. Basically what it is, is instead of burning a flame, it just melts the wax and keeps an even layer so that the candle not only lasts longer but it's also not hazardous because even though it's melted there's no open fire so Loki I just like keep that on all the time What you guys get? A little salad with chicken, kale salad, veggie panini, Ooh. and truffle fries. Actually, these taste Those normal. Are different. Those are different. That looks good. And she's like, it, it is. is. Yeah. Where is it? <laughs> Hi. Can I do the strawberries? I'll do chocolate chips and mochi. From ugly to less ugly. This is a blue marine heaven t-shirt, shushu tong, and these shoes are deep pop, but I like match the pink to the pink. 
see the vision, but your flexibility is really blowing my mind right now. And then this is Marge Sherwood. Got a lot of questions on this bag. This is a single earring, but because I only have one ear piercing, people think I lost it, but I'm like, oh no, it's the single earring. It's supposed to be like that. This is Mondo Mondo and this is Shushu Tonk. We are going to the rooftop happy hour and then going to the basketball game. Point of it is that your foundation is supposed to stay on throughout whatever activities you do. So they'd be wearing glacier in their game. This is from Lovers and Friends. This is the BDG jeans. And then these are Issa's bodegas. Cute. And then a vintage Dior bag. Are you excited for the game? I am actually really excited to see women who are so tall. Cute. <laughs> It's giving sauna. <laughs> Space runner. Space runner, they got how? She was judging me because I had one plate of food and I was like, I'm gonna go this way, this is gonna be my last plate. But then I went over there and then she brought a fresh plate of tater tot nachos. Like, I have to try some. And what do you think, Isabel? It's our second round. <laughs> brought home a snack. Good night, everybody. I just got this in the mail from For Love and Lemons. I think I'm gonna wear this with their new collection with Dolce Vita. I went with Dolce Vita to Florence in October. Their team is so great. These are the comfiest shoes I've ever worn. Look at these little dainty lace real details. This cowl neck and the open back. This is the outfit. It's actually so flattering. This is the back. I'm wearing navy underwear, so that's why I'm wearing dark clothes. I determine my outfits based off the color of underwear I'm wearing, so that doesn't show through. This is very appropriate and dainty, and now I can not worry about this. I I honestly don't care if there's hair on my armpits anyway. These are the flats I'm gonna throw on. I know they're different shades of blue, but like this navy strap kind of ties it together. So hopefully it looks fine. y'all just took a shower and now i'm actually on my way to pick up some groceries i did an online order because it's free pickup i just spent half my time like getting really distracted by aisles and shelves anyway so this is going to be time efficient for me and productive but i'm going to get some groceries so i can find something to like make my leftover chicken more interesting and also i just need different seasonings and i'm going to make some amazon returns in the process so let's go together <laughs> Managed to fit everything in. And I just put the eggs in here to be safe and double bagged it. Just got all my groceries. That's good. Hi, Derek. Wow. I'm filming my day. That's good. <laughs> I got no problem with it. <laughs> what Thank a you. nice surprise. <laughs> I have a cart here with me for my groceries. And things are going into storage. So it's all just little errands I have to do. Hello, guys. I just took a shower and I'm in my comfy clothes. Here's the deal. We picked up a roast chicken from Whole Foods. I was lifting every chicken and finding the heaviest one. So we're gonna do a little salad situation and I'm going to use the carcasses to cook broth so I can repurpose this and make it into an Asian meal and an American meal. I have some arugula and chives and we also have tomatoes and peaches. I'm pretty much just gonna assemble everything over here and make a salad. Super simple. Wash our veggies. We have some arugula. I got this truffle goat cheese I'm gonna put in with some peaches. Mmm. Wait, I'm sorry, this is too good. I can't put this in, it's too good. avocado chive salad with butter lettuce. All I have is arugula right now. So this is also vegan friendly. You don't want to add chicken and goat cheese, but I'm just gonna add extra things because I like them. That definitely needs seasoning, so. 
I just toss it with my hands because I feel like it gets an even spread. Let's just take a fork. I'm going to take out a fat scoop. That's yummy. Mmm. This cutting board is a mess, but this just needs to be displaced and then this is fine for cleanup. Put these things aside because I'm going to use them later. Super yummy. Make my life easy and throw out the chicken in. I love all the chicken skin. <laughs> so tender. Oh my god, I'm salivating. Let's put some of this balsamic vinegar. I'm also going to add a little bit of parsley and a little bit of lime juice. This is like chimichurri ingredients, garlic, parsley, olive oil, lemon juice or whatnot. This is going to be without extra dishes, so just some fresh minced garlic so it's not too pungent. Now it definitely needs some lemon juice. Squeeze a little bit. And this is my little salad for lunch. Oh my god, yes. Might be a lot of flavors, honestly. Let's go try it. Okay, a lot of flavors. The onions are good. I think I was trying too many different salads at once. The combination tastes like something you'd eat at a restaurant because it's like parsley, chives, or like fresh garlic, peaches, chicken, arugula. It could probably do without the peaches. No, that's actually really good. I like it. Yeah. Salads can be so boring, but this is so good. Now that I'm finished with lunch, I'm going to make some pho with the leftover rotisserie chicken. And I have all my ingredients. We're going to add this. We're going to add this. We're going to add a pho spice pack, which has has like star anise, cinnamon, cloves. So we can make either chicken rice or we can have pho because I have noodles too. What are you feeling? Up. I recorded my entire segment in slow motion, but that was delicious and I give this homemade recipe that my mom hinted and I kind of browsed online a 10 out of 10 in terms of simplicity and a 10 for taste too. It's quite good. Michaela's <laughs> Vietnamese. Hi. You like it? It's so good. It reminds me of my dad's. <laughs> I'm so full. Delicious. I loved it. The reason why I'm not getting a TV is because in this moment where I'm so full, I would probably turn it on and just be distracted for the next four hours. But because I have nothing to do, I'm going to do the dishes. No TV for me. All of a sudden, I'm juicing old peaches and I have ginger from the pho, so... That's good. It kind of tastes Japanese. The texture is weird. I'm gonna make smoothie ice cubes, okay? What do you do with that? Just put it in water, it's gonna be so bad. Oh, and a smoothie. smoothie! Nice. These are my two favorite things ever. These chia seed jellies and these donut peaches. I'm just eating some leftover pho I have boiling on the stove. And I just came back from a workout class. I didn't wash my hair because I'm gonna get ready for the day and it curls better if it's not wet and freshly washed, so. to show you guys some apartment updates. So I got this little shower rack and I just have my shampoo and my hair conditioners, hair masks, shaving creams, body scrubs. This is my favorite body wash right now. It's from Salt and Stone. And I also love this Way body scrub. Oh my God, no, this is my favorite. Sorry, I yeeted. These are my holy trinity, these three. And then I love the Living Proof Conditioner and the Way shampoo. This Barbie collection from Athena's Club also smells really good. I 
think it's a collab with Sweetie. And then I got this shower head installed from Canopy and it's made my skin a lot better, not sponsored. But yeah, this is my overall shower situation. And here we have my perfumes, but I kind of color coded it. I did a couple campaigns recently and then the rest is just PR. Very, very, very thankful. This is very organized, very, very me. And if you look down, I have some body care, some makeup brushes. These are from Jisoo and Wei and Tatcha. So it's like good for my hair, like some hair oils. And these are just like all my favorite lip products right now. And then some towels and that's my hamper. These are from Amazon, I'll link it in my bio. We also have this skincare cabinet, of course. So basically this is the shit I can't pronounce, which I know is good for my skin. This is the shit that I love because the packaging is insane and also like it's priced at that point for a reason. I love the Tatcha, I love Solosu. Also, these are all like Asian brands, if you notice. And then these are other serums that are really good that I like. Glow Recipe, Tatcha, Clarins, Bum Bum Cream, Metacube I also love. So this is my skincare cabinet. And then you can just like close the mirror, which is nice. Alright guys, this is how it's finished. So this was like a really easy, quick meal prep and I kind of wanted to imitate this like Chinese chicken salad that my dance teacher made before when my family and I went over to her house for dinner. It's like a very American style Chinese chicken salad. It's not Chinese at all. It's literally so white, but I feel like it kind of hits and it makes the chicken like taste different. I was chopping the carrots, but I realized it's better to shred them, but this is what the salad looks like. And so I'm gonna eat the ugly one and I wanna do a taste test because I don't know if this is good. I like searched up recipes online, but I kind of didn't like any of them. So I just made up my own in the process. <laughs> that defeats the purpose of meal prep. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like if you packed it up. Let me see what the ratio looks like. Okay, it looks pretty good. I actually like the oranges in it a lot. I think the chicken tastes a little bit old. The squeeze of lime helps and so does the fresh onion. It's pretty good and so, so easy.